Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, it is a beautiful morning here. The weather is absolutely perfect. And that's because we woke up to bright sunshine and a beautiful cool breeze and a warm balmy temperature. It was just, it's delightful. But anyways, right now, I'm making myself a cup of coffee. Yeah, didn't want to make a whole nother pot, but I certainly needed another cup of coffee. And I even used my to-go cup because yeah, I wanted a dull cup of coffee. <laughs> but right now, yeah, it's been a challenging, but good morning. We found out that Dottie had run out of her blood pressure medicine. So my husband quickly scooted her into the car and is taking her to the pharmacy because yeah, gotta have that blood pressure medicine. So anyways, appreciate your continued prayers with this situation as we are beginning to see that there are some challenges up ahead that Rick and I do not think that we will be able to fully give her the best. And so we've been working with the Veterans Administration and their social worker there because, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more going on here with ability and lack of ability and um, mental, you know, capabilities and understanding that could make it where, yeah, she just needs maybe a tad more help than we can do. But we're taking it one day at a time and, you know, if it ends up that she stays here, then she stays here. And as in the foreseeable next, you know, few weeks, yeah, she's going to definitely be here. But she definitely wants to be with Bernie and her husband. And the doctors and the people where he is at are beginning to see that he is probably not going to recover and recuperate to that point where he can come home because the the physical care that he'll need is beyond her or our capability. So anyways, like I said, if you could just keep them in prayer because they're dear people. And yeah, I am going to take her to go see Bernie here in a little while and let her spend the afternoon there and I am going to do I don't even know I just know that I need some free time and I appreciate everybody and their patience because I know that this last week you know my videos probably were not up to par but I love you all and I thank you and yeah hey you know what I'll talk to you in just a little while I wanted to take you out to the garden just for a moment to show you the squash and the zucchini that are behind me they are really thriving well in this garden can't say that the rest of the stuff is but they are thriving wonderfully but as you can see they are getting really big they are doing really really well and that makes me extremely happy my pepper plants on the other hand yeah that's a whole nother story they are not really too happy are they and those back there are the cayenne peppers this one here is a bell pepper and yeah can you see that lettuce around there? Do you think maybe I just kind of like spilt some of the seeds without realizing it? But I guess I really thought they would be a lot bigger by now. So, I don't know. I don't really think I'm going to get bell peppers. I might get a few of the banana peppers that you can see in the background, but I don't think my peppers are really doing that well. Now this lovely plant here is a tomatello, and honestly, I 
don't even know what they are supposed to look like when they're growing. So it does look healthy. The stem looks nice and sturdy and there's a flower on it. But the other tomatillo doesn't look like that at all. Now these are the two of the Cherokee purple and yeah, you know, I guess they don't look too bad. I don't really know how fast they're supposed to be growing. I fertilized them. I've been watering them. I've been watering everything. And yeah, don't really know how big they're supposed to get. By now, I mean. But I do have a little tomato growing on one of my tomato plants. So yeah, it's not very big, is it? Here's another one. But yeah, the plants are not very big. And I don't know, is it a lack of sunshine? Or is it because we had such cool weather that it just set everything back? Because we had some really, really cold nights. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on with my garden. Not really sure, because even though I haven't grown the, um, the bell peppers or the tomatillos or Cherokee before, um, I have grown the tomatoes and I have grown, even my herbs are really not where I think they should be. They're not doing poorly, but they're not where, they sh where I think they should be. But look at these little mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I went to um, the Christmas tree shop thinking that I could find some inexpensive um, paper to wrap the wedding gift in, but no, I didn't. But I did find these. I thought they were adorable. So yeah, I'm gonna stick them in my garden. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to all of you in just a little while. we will be reading from John chapter 8 verse 58 Jesus said to them truly truly I say to you before Abraham was born I am one of the fundamentals of our faith is that the Lord Jesus Christ is fully God in every way and fully equal to the Father Many people claim that Jesus is not God and that he even never claimed to be God or to be equal with the Father. And yet, when the Lord Jesus declared that before Abraham was, I am, he was making the most blatant and undeniable declaration of his deity, claiming equal status with Yahweh of the Old Testament, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Jesus Christ claimed to be deity on many occasions, which infuriated the Jewish leaders. And in verse 59 of John 8, it says that they even took up stones to execute him because they refused to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God. When Jesus declared before Abraham was, I am, he was claiming to have pre-existed the greatest prophet and the patriarch of the Jews, the father of the Jewish nation. He was claiming to be nothing less than the God of the universe, the I am of the scriptures. The same I am who led the children of Israel out of bondage from Egypt and who spoke with Moses in the burning bush declaring, I am that I am. Jesus was consistently making the religious people mad and what made them the angriest was what he claimed about himself. Like when he said, 
I am the bread of life, and I am the light of the world. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And in today's scripture verse, before Abraham was, I am. And in chapter 8 of John, Jesus makes some astonishing claims to the Pharisees. Like when he said in verse 24, If you do not believe that I am he, you will indeed die in your sins. And in the next verse, they started to argue with him by saying, who do you think you are? Well, don't let anyone tell you that Jesus never claimed to be God because he did. And his miracles and resurrection backed up his claims. Jesus and his word will still challenge those who oppose him. And he will also challenge his followers when they get out of line. The crucial thing is how you and I respond when Jesus challenges us. And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And you see, everyone faces the same choice that these Jews faced. Either Jesus was a blasphemer or he is God. If you challenge Jesus by shrugging off his claims, you'll lose. If you bow before him as Lord and God, you will see the day of his coming and be glad. God bless and I will talk to you on Monday.